When we heard about the Faraday battery challenge, we were very excited. Not only did it uh, facilitate collaboration with our project partners, it was also very important for de-risking some of the technology development that was underway and accelerating the commercialization of our materials. So at the time uh, of Nexium's formation, um, it was recognized that uh, lithium-ion batteries were becoming more and more important in the energy storage area, but were limited in their energy density. And the bottleneck was on the anode side with the graphite material that was being used. Most people would agree one of the best materials to replace the graphite is silicon. But silicon is not straightforward to use. Um, it has a great affinity for the lithium, which means you can have much, much higher energy densities compared to graphite. But when it's charged or lithiated, the silicon expands dramatically and that can cause the battery damage and the lifetime of the battery can suffer. So the technical problem that needed to be solved was how to use silicon and how to control the expansion issue. So what's special about our materials is the way that we have engineered them to include space for the silicon to expand into. There are quite a lot of fairly detailed design considerations that go into developing a, a silicon anode material. But the key thing is to use an effective nanoscale engineering strategy um, involving nanoscale sizing of the silicon and also the introduction of an engineered porosity into the particle itself. And that's the way we can control the expansion in the battery application. Today, lithium batteries are everywhere. It's hard to think of a field or an application that doesn't use batteries in one form or another. By using Nexium materials, cell makers are able to increase the energy density of the lithium-ion battery cells. And when those cells are used in electric vehicles, that benefit is demonstrated with a longer range, a fast charge or a lighter battery. The battery industry was originally mainly dominated by Asian players. But because of this EV trend, uh, we can see in EU and also the UK, the battery industry is truly emerging. And we really are trying to build our own battery supply chain. The Sunrise project was pivotal for us because it helped us develop a product that is accepted and highly demanded by the global market across multiple market segments. The other point that it brought is that it demonstrated to the world that Nexion is a credible partner that can co-develop with other companies. That model of co-development has been replicated now with customers in Europe, in Asia, in the UK of course. From a sustainability point of view and carbon footprint, we are really well positioned and we think we are improving the situation of the battery substantially. The reason is simple. We improve the energy density by 50%. With the same manufacturing plant, with the same consumption of energy, you produce 1.5 times more batteries. If you think about the whole value chain now, is if we start to make products lighter and more efficient, we're shipping less material, we're using less minerals or earth resources. If we're shipping less, we're emitting less. If we're emitting less, we're contributing to this net zero future that we know we need to race to. Climate issues can be partly addressed, moving away from oil and gas and moving to sustainable energy solutions. Those solutions need energy storage and the world needs to electrify transport. All of that requires better batteries. Better batteries need better battery chemistry. So with Innovate UK's help, and with the hard work of all of our excellent scientists and engineers, Nexion and Nexion's materials are making that a reality.